This video is supported by Profit Accumulator. Profit Accumulator helps you to earn extra money by doing something called match betting. Match betting isn't gambling. And when you do it properly, and I mean properly, you can't lose. So get involved right now. Click the link in the description and sign up to Profit Accumulator right now. Hi, and welcome along to AFTV. It's time to preview the game. Arsenal taking on Newcastle in the FA Cup. Of course, we are the FA Cup holders and we want to keep hold of the FA Cup or at least go as far into the competition as possible. And Newcastle at home is not going to be an easy game. And joining me to discuss that, we have Matty from the Magpie channel. How are you doing, Matty? Long time we haven't spoken, bro. How are you doing? Hi, I'm good, mate. I'm good. Nice to see you again, man. It does feel like ages since we last linked up. Like I think it was that NHS thing over the summer that you did, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. When was the last time we met at a game? Bloody hell. Mate, it was actually the last Premier League away game that I went to was in February at the Emirates. That was, that was the last time I seen you. Seems, your last like, seems like years ago. Yeah, well, it's nearly a year now, isn't it? I mean, it's ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, crazy, crazy times. And um, Newcastle, actually, I remember in the summer, or just before the summer, you sending me some texts telling me about how Messi was incoming to Newcastle and stuff like that. That didn't quite work out, did it? No, it didn't work out at all, mate. We end up, we end up Bruce is still here, Joel on still here. It's, it's not it's not quite uh, Pochettino and, and, and Mbappe, like we all promised, but oh, an absolute nightmare, absolute nightmare what happened with that, wasn't it? I mean, the whole world thought it was going to happen. It was all, mm. all over everywhere, Sky Sports. It was days away and then obviously Mike Ashley's still in court right now trying to get the answers to why it didn't go ahead. So, Fingers crossed it'll go ahead one day, but I've, I've given up hope of for now, like of reading or buying into it. Because I was totally sold on the idea. I mean, I nearly had him back on the back of the arm, mate, at one point. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not getting me hopes up anytime soon. Oh man, the life and life and times of a Newcastle fan. Well, listen, it's the it's the FA Cup. How seriously do you think Newcastle are gonna take it? Newcastle, you haven't won a trophy for for a, such a huge club. You haven't won a trophy, I think some I saw the other day since the 50s or something. 51 years. I found, I found that unbelievable. Um, do you think this week you'll take it serious? Because I know you guys have had um problems with the COVID as well. Mm, big time. We had the we had the entire squad nearly wiped out with it. Obviously, the game against Aston Villa got postponed, the training ground was closed. So one credit to Steve Bruce that many Newcastle fans will give him, and there isn't many positives to come out of his reign so far as Newcastle manager, obviously particularly the style of play, is absolutely horrendous. But he does take the cup seriously. He reached the quarter final of the FA Cup last year when we got knocked out by Man City, which was just a forfeit. That was an awful game. That he just went into that game with just no idea that we could possibly get a result. He just totally threw in the towel, which was disappointing. Um because that was the first quarter final we've got in about 10, 12 years. Um so this year, I think he'll play another strong team because unlike previous managers like Rafa Benitez, they knew that they had to stay in the Premier League for Mike Ashley. That, that was the goal. Whereas Bruce actually played a strong side. There was the best start on you could pick was out on the pitch and we gave it the roll. But it's, we got lucky last year in the FA Cup as well, Robbie. I mean, we had two replays against Rochdale and Oxford. That's how, you know, we couldn't even get past them at the first time of asking. Obviously, no replays this year. Hopefully, we put a strong side out and hopefully we can compete with Arsenal, but the form book isn't looking too pretty at the minute for you, for us compared to you. So maybe this yeah. game was played a month ago, it may have been a bit better. <laughs> do you, do you, you think a strong team, even though you've had the COVID hit so hard, I, I think like St. Max, there, there was talk of a couple of your players, I don't know if it's St. Maximan or another, like literally suffering long-term effects of it. You still think, even with that, and the fact that he's had a small squad over the over the Christmas period and had to negotiate those three games, that he'll come with a strong squad for Saturday. Yeah, because uh, we won't see the star man Saint Maxman. He's still in France. He's, he's got long COVID. He's just he's he's out there with his with his family in France. Been there a couple of weeks now. Uh, we might see Captain Jamal Lascelles back this weekend, which would be a big boost. Although the defense has been solid. Don't know if you caught the Liverpool game, but they were, they were brilliant in that game. Um, and then we've got Isaac Hayden, obviously ex Guna coming coming back mm -hmm. from suspension. John Joe Shelby's nearing better <clears> fitness. 
Ryan Fraser, who was signed from Bournemouth in the summer. He's he's looked brilliant when he's played, but it's keeping him fit. And then obviously you've got Andy Carroll, reborn, reborn Andy Carroll <laughs> scored. He scored the other day. <laughs> His first goal since rejoining last summer. So about as strong as we can get, really. But um, I, I'm not mm. too confident in the game, to be honest with you. Yeah, it's going to be really interesting what the, the, the two teams that are put out because the FA Cup comes on the back of, you know, both teams having a very, very busy Christmas period. Obviously, the Arsenal Christmas period went better than your guys. Um, you had that you had that really, really good draw, um, you know, against... Uh, was it Liverpool? Yeah, the, the, yeah. the Liverpool draw. But it's been a bit mixed since, hasn't it? It has. Either the. It's funny because it's it's one of them where the manager seems to... Solskjaer had it at uh, Man United. Obviously, Arteta's had it at Arsenal. When the pressure's on, people are starting to call for the manager. They seem to pluck a result out of nowhere, don't they? And that's mm. precisely what Bruce did. I mean, nobody gave away a chance against Liverpool, including ourselves. Yeah, we went and got a result and could have nipped it in the end. Fully deserved a draw. Played Leicester a couple of days ago. God, I would do that. To be honest, we deserved to lose that one. It was Andy Carroll consolation later on. Didn't show enough. But that's the thing with with, with Bruce. Newcastle fans were calling it Brucey ball. It's there's just no idea. It's so ugly to watch rugby. It's the worst I've ever seen Newcastle in my life. Worse than Pardew. Worse than Steve McLaren. There's just no identity. There's no idea going into every game. There's games where we have 20% possession, the majority of them. We yeah. have, we don't really create, we're, we're bottom of the table. We're 20th for goals, shots on target, touches in the opposition box, possession, everything. We're, we're ugly. We're awful. It's, it's not nice to be in your guys' fan at the minute. <laughs> yeah, and, and I think with like, it's, it's a surprise that they are so negative because there are some good attacking players in the team. I mean, obviously, so Maximan will be a big miss. I'm personally glad he ain't playing because I really rate him. And mm. he is that sort of player that when you are playing that really defensive structure, if you get him the ball, he's the one who can kind of explode away. Um, but it has been surprising how defensive you guys have looked. Do you think it is that been like that all season? It has. It really has from, from the off. I think Bruce's mentality <laughs> is that he comes into games... I think you would take 38 nil nils in a season and hope that 38 points keeps you up. But he, he has, he has, he has he signed Rafa Benitez was here and we're quite negative, we're quite defensive, but we're solid. We, we, had, a, we had a foundation. There was a, an idea of what to do on the counter-attack. You know, Bruce has been given £100 million to spend on forwards. We've got St. Maximin. Joe Lytton was £40 million. Not great. Could you get power out of him? Yeah, I think a decent manager would. Um, got Callum Wilson there, who's been banging them in, to be fair for him. He's been a great mm-hmm. signing. You know, we've got Miguel Almiron, who, who was in poor run of form. Again, not playing to his best, playing in his, in his wrong position. So Bruce is wasting this talent, wasting the opportunities that we have to, to play a type of football. We're not expecting, you know, Barcelona, but we're going to at least play as good as football as other teams you're seeing in the top 10, you know? Mm. What have you made of Arsenal? Because, like you said, a few weeks ago, I went, when the draw was made, you was probably rubbing your hands and saying, yeah, actually, you know what? I fancy us there, man. We can go there. But since that draw, Arsenal hit a run of form. They, I, I reckon before that, you know, before that run of form, those stats you gave earlier about lack of creation and stuff like that, we would have been near to that as well because we weren't creating anything either. But all of a sudden, the team's starting to create. The, the you know We're scoring goals, uh, you know, three against Chelsea, uh, four um, against West Brom, you know, beat Brighton as well. You know, three, three in a row for Arsenal. What have you made of Arsenal? I think in watching your channel, I think what you've seen from Arteta is to finally give some youth a chance. Week after week, you saw the likes of William playing. Why? He wasn't bringing anything to the team. I've seen Europa League games with Smith Rowe in it, even when Emery was there, bringing in the likes of Smith Rowe. He looks like an outstanding young talent. It's having faith in the youth because if you had it persisted with the likes of Willian and out of form strikers, you'd probably still be in the same position where you've got this young blood coming through, hungry, trying to prove a point, and they're doing just that. They're taking the chances, aren't they? And mm. it's confidence is a huge thing in football as well. And as soon as look at Lacazette now, Lacazette looks back to his best, doesn't he? Which is isn't good for us heading <laughs> into the weekend. But I mean, like you say, three wins in a row out, out of nowhere when it looked like oh, Teta, the pressure was fully on. It's going to be a different Arsenal we're facing now than when the, the draw was made. But I, I messaged you that now we did a live watch along for the FA Cup draw and I said we're going to get Arsenal here. The, the balls came out, we got Arsenal. 
And to be honest with you, I would have rather played Chelsea, Liverpool than Arsenal in the FA Cup because Arsenal's own the FA Cup, don't they? Your name is literally on it right now. It seems to be your cup in recent years. You don't want to come up against the Champions League, especially when yeah, you've not okay. really got too much to play for in the league. You, you, you'll want to get another trophy. Yeah, well, um, prediction time. Mm. What do you reckon? One nil, Andy Carroll. <laughs> do you Damn. know what? Uh, um, I'm fearful of Andy Carroll. Always fearful. But I, I'll leave my prediction to... we. Uh, I did a video over on your channel as well. So if anybody wants to see my prediction, get over onto um, the Magpie TV and you will see my prediction. But Matty, thanks. Um, hopefully I can see you again at a game soon. Um, we get through this whole situation, but thanks once again, and uh, happy New Year to you. And um, can't wish you luck for the weekend. You know it goes. We need a trophy, man. <laughs> we need the look, man. We need the look, Robbie. <laughs> Not this week. <laughs> <laughs> Pleasure, mate. Thanks for having us on. My God. This video is supported by Profit Accumulator. Profit Accumulator helps you to earn extra money by doing something called match betting. Match betting isn't gambling. And when you do it properly, and I mean properly, you can't lose. Now you always see these promotions by bookmakers like Lab Brooks, William Hills, Corals, offering a 50 pound bonus to customers. So you sign up and you might place a 50 pound bet on a coin toss landing on heads and a 50 pound bet on the same coin toss landing on tails. Now, whichever way it lands, it don't matter because you won't win or lose any money because you've covered all of the outcomes. However, you get the 50 pound bonus, so it's still 50 pound up. Now, lots of people try to do match betting on their own, but it's very time consuming and not always easy if you don't know what you're doing. That's where Profit Accumulator come in. Even if you don't know anything about sports, they walk you through everything step by step, showing you how to accumulate money into your bank account. So get involved right now. Click the link in the description and sign up to Profit Accumulator right now.